Hey, this is Dave from ERC, and I just got back from Flight Fest Ohio 2018, and I received this build kit here, which is a new plane that Flight Test just came out with, and some people call it the Founders Airplane, but it's actually the FT Legacy, so let's just take a look at that. So here's what the kit looks like when you get it. I actually got mine from the store because I was in the Founders program. Hard to fit in the camera. All the parts are in there except for the landing gear kit which came in a separate bag. This kit should be available on the flight test store soon for others who weren't in the Founders program and just want to get the plane for their own pleasure. But first let's go look at some flight footage and an interview from Tim Wright who gives us some great build tips on putting this together. So here's some flight footage I captured at Flight Fest Ohio, and you can see this FT Legacy is a very smooth, docile, easy to fly plane with plenty of power. You can add extra accessories and bigger batteries if you want to, and it has lots of options for configuring it in different ways, including a propeller on the front. Your name is? Tim Wright. Tim Wright. Okay, I'm Dave Mercier. Hi, Dave. Okay, so Krylon, the expensive Krylon. Krylon yes, the that's... top level Krylon stuff, paint yeah. and primer. Yeah. And uh, it should say safe for all plastics versus the cheaper stuff that says some. Okay. Um, and then the CPAC motor. The CPAC motor, right? A dual for that. And uh, no, what is this? The nine inch or? I think these are tens. Maybe the ten. Ten, ten inch props. Ten inch props. And then uh, something you could fly with the twenty two hundred, I think, if you yeah. sit for I don't know ten minutes. You know, we flew for about five or ten minutes. But if you want something longer than that, then I would put. It, it actually would uh, needs a little more nose weight than a twenty two hundred. So what do you think the maximum? Weight battery you could put in there would uh, like a oh, four four thousand free I've cell. A, I've got a four thousand three. I might fly tomorrow. I might oh, yeah. go get it right now. Honestly, just oh, to see how she see handles. what it does. And I want to do differential thrust. Um, oh yeah, has three channels. She's kind of she's lazy flyer. Mm -hmm. You know, it's nice and gentle, but there's no surprises for it. So I'd like to pepper up a little bit. I think, but it's got you can put flaps on it here. It's got just a like a Fowler flap that yeah. come down. And then the Bombay is an additional servo that you can throw in there. I haven't cut mine yet, but you can see the witness lines yep. to do that. But this is the landing gear, so I mean... And it looks like they got extra servo oh, yeah. holes yeah, for, there. Oh yeah, yeah, four-channel and all that. Yeah. And actually, they give you enough parts in the kit. You could even do a build of a tri-motor. One guy did that, or just a single. Right, you know, I hang, saw that tri-motor, yeah. Know, hang a big enough motor off the front of it, you could fly it single chair or single motor on it without any problem. So you just got the two servos in the rear. Yep, that's and, it. And that's what it's doing. Back now I, I just started in September. Okay. Flying. Okay. So, do you think if you did the differential thrust that you really need a rudder? Probably not. Probably not. No, um, I think the differential will just give you a little more authority. Yeah. yeah. I don't think I'd fly it on that. Just yeah. kind of if I could, because you saw it out here. It's Beautiful. Nice, yeah. Lazy circles. And that's what I want. Something slow yeah. and lazy. Yeah, I, I don't want any surprises. So it, yeah. it flies a lot like the Cub or the Simple Sport. Yeah. Yeah. The Simple Sport. Well, fantastic. It'll be out, I think, September. Yeah. Well, they gave me one. I just got it today, though. Oh, yeah, okay. I went, you know, I didn't get my perks, so I went over the tent and oh, I said, yep. what's going on with the perks? And they said, oh, well, we can give them to you here. So, yeah. you know, cool. they gave, gave me one, but I didn't have time to build it. I, I will tell but. you one more hint. If you're doing the twin motor mount, before you fold the wing over, yeah. cut your holes out. Oh, there's wires okay. that go through there. I didn't do that, so... Mine probably don't line up with everybody else's because I had to, I just kind of I gave or you know guessed on a little more gap mm -hmm. for the prop clearance and threw mine on. So I don't know where they're actually supposed to hit on the wing, but it flew okay. Yeah, it did great. Yeah, I was what? Who well, could... I see it one way out here, one in there. It uh, wouldn't <laughs> yeah. work too good. Yeah. yeah. What is this? This backing tape? Uh, yeah, with white packing tape. Right. It's the you can go on the like Tate Brothers or yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah get color and I just brought the white. I was going to do pinstriping too but yeah. it's so dusty here and I'm just going to wait till I get her home. Really yeah. close her up. But I put a couple of stickers on her just to make and I cut the logo out. The logo's 
That's not mm -hmm. included in the kit. So oh, okay. I, I've got a cricket at home, you know, those craft cutters. Yeah. It's basically a, a drag knife. Uh, and, I, and they got the logo online, so you can just pull the logo off. Very nice. Do you know about the cricket, John? No. I hadn't heard of it either, but yeah, I guess you get like it. like the craft aisle at like Walmart or something like that. Yeah. All it is is like a little CNC with a drag knife. Mm -hmm. uh, but what's nice about it is you can pull in like D. I, I do CAD, so yeah, uh, you can pull DXFs in yeah. natively. Yeah. So you can design whatever you want and cut it out in vinyl yeah. and stick it on there. Mm -hmm. I was thinking one way you could do that logo is get some of that transfer paper that you know has yeah. the white on it maybe or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, if you had a vinyl cutter. Or a vinyl cutter. That's what a cricket is. Oh, it's a like a cutter. little plotter? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I get it's you. Just a, it's just a commercial, you yeah. know, easy yeah. one button push. Nice. Or a vinyl cutter. Yeah, that yeah. might be something so good to get. You don't need to know any difficult software <laughs> or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, the FT Legacy is a plane that's modeled after a plane called the Tunnel Master, which is influential in my life, but also has some amazing stories behind it. And uh, what we thought would be really cool is if we could get all the founders together, we could buy the legacies. By the way, if you're waiting on a legacy, they're still getting mailed out as, uh, as pieces and parts come in, they will be coming to you. Uh, but also, just to uh, the fellowship together. Um, Flight Test is a family, and when families come together, great things happen. This new location is gonna be a testimony of that, not only for our generation, but for generations to come.